Hi Sag, and welcome to your snapshot reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Midheaven, Venus, Jupiter placements, but note that we are comprised of all 12 signs, so you can definitely have Sagittarius in other parts of your chart, um, and that's why you were brought here. Just understand that if you clicked on this video, there was no coincidence in you doing so. There's a reason for it, and so I hope you hear all that you need at this time, and definitely subscribe before you leave if this reading should resonate. And give it a thumbs up as well. The more the merrier. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get into your snapshot reading which you guys are walking into at this time as far as the overlying energy you have the five of wands so this can be internal conflict or it can be conflict in matters of the heart okay summer flings gone wrong just love romance going wrong um but yeah because the cruise that hounds you you guys have the three of cups Right. What's real about the situation? You guys have the Ace of Coins. Scorpio had this in their spread, so you might be dealing with the Scorpio. What's wrong about the situation? You guys have the Knight of Coins. Where you need more information, you have the Ten of Wands. Then final outcome, best case scenario, you guys have the Strength card. Heavy hitter here. If this is not speaking to you having the courage to try again um, through these failed attempts at love here, then this is a Leo coming in to rectify this situation and you can very well have a better um, like outcome and outlook on love and life after dealing with this person here. Bottom of the deck you have the Queen of Swords. Okay. I definitely feel like you guys feel like you're you've been robbed of happiness though because there's a lot of people a lot of individuals that you guys have dealt with with that have tainted your outlook on life and love right they have taken the joy out of dating and out of romance okay and so you no longer care to be involved especially if you are single and you're watching this video it's like you don't even want to entertain anybody or give anybody else a shot because it's been so terrible right because these people just can't live up to expectations in a way right um to your standard though this is the ace of coins so i feel like y'all aren't even asking for too much it's just these people just aren't capable right what's wrong about the situation you asking the wrong people they're just not capable of giving it to you so maybe with this five of wands here you need to look at what your type has been okay because I feel like there are some similarities with these people. They're all huddled together here. They all have wands here. Um, they all pretty much look the same as far as like color, as far as stature, like body weight and stuff like that. You guys can't really see it. I'm sure also part of that has to do with um, the sun and the way that it's hitting this window. But they all pretty much look alike, if not act alike right because this is action oriented energy so to some degree you've been attracting a lot of the same individual here so you need to go back to the root of that and why it is that you find yourself wanting to be with potentially the bad guys right the fuck boys the fuck girls um why you find yourself so drawn to them maybe because you guys have like a healing complex you feel like you can fix everybody that comes into your life here um that like kind of gives you purpose by doing so like that's the way that you submit you submit by trying to take these dirty dans right <laughs> these hobos off the street and clean them up and try to show them love and you try to cook for them you know what i'm saying you try to take them out and have these experiences that they could never afford on their own or that just um the people that they grew up with like in their environment and where they come from they would have never thought to try on their own or with their group of friends you know what i'm saying sagittarius um especially if you're black 
you know how they have those stereotypes against black people but you would be the type and i have sag in western astrology a lot more sag in my chart like i go snowboarding but because i'm black people will look at me and be like like why would you want to do that because it's fun and it's different i'm learning something i'm challenging myself you know what i'm saying that's what life is all about constantly trying to level up and do different things and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone you know what i'm saying because you just might find what your passion is and doing that but you guys would be the type to do stuff like that or to go rock climbing you just defy odds in that type of way you do things that are out of the ordinary so there's a lot of people that um, are just too reserved or too shy or too afraid with the five of wands energy to do those things or to try new things uh, people that are afraid of love because they've been hurt in the past and so you're trying to heal somebody and you feel like oh you can be the one to change their outlook yet and still we're here you know what i'm saying so look at what your type has been in matters of the heart and be open with the three of cups to changing that and giving somebody else a try somebody that is the opposite of you here with the ace of coins because there's an opportunity for somebody to come in that is different from your usual type here can be an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn energy here because what's wrong about the situation i feel like for a lot of you guys you've been dating people that are very immature again this is just the knight of coins there's still growth that has to um, go on here to turn into the king or to turn into the queen people that are too immature you've been dealing with people that don't really know what they want out of life you know what i'm saying they don't have a five-year plan they don't have a 10-year plan so if they don't even know what their mission is how could they possibly include you in their life okay and take you seriously take a connection seriously how could you even expect for them to commit in a relationship if they can't even commit to a job again i feel like some of you guys have been dealing with hobos and they may say that they have a job you know what i'm saying but they can't actually wine and dine you when it comes down to it all right or this can be you guys this can be you sagittarius you guys have been a little bit more stingy with your money uh with your time and or attention um and so you're you've become very picky with the way that you show your devotion in certain situations which can then kind of create arguments in these relationships or people feeling like you're not actually really as interested as you may be which can then turn them off or that just ruins the connection altogether okay so if this isn't somebody else embodying all of this energy this can't be you and what you're doing here but again so like you can be dealing with people that don't have a job again because you want to be that savior you want to have that complex you feel like because we're in a relationship it's my duty here to show you and to prove to you and maybe that's also something that's wrong with the situation stop trying to show and prove your worth to people that just won't understand it they're not meant to get it okay they're only in your life for a season which also came up in scorpio's reading again go take a look at that because it's understanding that not everybody is to play a permanent role in your life okay and it's acknowledging that but it's really taking advantage of them while you have them and the lessons that you're meant to get from them okay so that you can then take that into your own and be able to integrate that into your persona should you need it if it's beneficial for you to use okay taking those attributes um, that you don't naturally have that they may be able to come and show you or help you to uh, learn here and then being able to apply that into your life as required with all of this energy here but it's just it's just understanding that everybody was meant to be a part of your life so you need to have or exercise is what i'm hearing exercise better judgment when it comes to you deciding to give somebody the time of day okay somebody that you want to have a relationship with here and stop falling so hard and so fast with this wand energy because it can be very reckless energy you see somebody that you just are physically attracted to um you guys kiss and you feel like there's that chemistry there then lo and behold one day in two days in you've already slept with them with this five of wands energy then you catch feelings you know what i'm saying and then you all of a sudden want to understand 
where you guys are going and this person is just like uh what do you mean i thought we were cool i thought we were friends i'm just trying to see where this could go you know what i'm saying they haven't given much thought to the relationship and then you've already given away the cow for free you know what i'm saying and then you find yourself having to trash this person start over but then you do the same thing so show some restraint here some discipline and some self-control i feel like that has been lacking in a lot of y'all's lives here lately get back into the you right and who you are get back into your looks because i feel like some of you guys have let yourselves go in the midst of trying to involve yourself in these relationships that can also with the wands energy have been very toxic so start to exercise more change up your diet you know what i'm saying if there are some things that you because we are in libra season and it's all about aesthetics um if you've been feeling self-conscious about the way that you look or how you just feel about yourself then start to work on that a little bit more so you can tr attract healthier people into your life once you're in that place because if you are underweight or overweight then you start to feel like okay maybe this person that i like is out of my league um then you start feeling insecure you know what i'm saying which can lead to jealous issues or trust issues you know what I'm saying? Having those thoughts and fears of being abandoned for somebody that may look better, that you kind of want to look like. So just get ahead of the curve by just dropping all of this other stuff here for the time being and just focusing more on you, right? And your personality, things that you may want to um, change up or develop or improve upon as far as your personality is concerned. Um, but really pay attention to also impressions with the Ace of Coins and the things that people say you know what i'm saying um first impressions are lasting impressions so make sure that you're also paying attention when you're asking these questions to make sure that they are lining up with what your morals your values are okay what your standards are and the actual person or the people that you are trying to invite into your life at this time if they're not romantic and you need something that's more like business oriented because you're trying to get um that off of the ground and that growing for you okay you're more concerned with what your purpose is at this time and you don't really care about love um you can pour all of your love into that okay you can feel great satisfaction from that and what you're doing with those things by turning your focus onto what actually matters at this time okay where you need more information you have the ten of wands so the disaster is over there's a cycle that is complete okay with this five of wands and this ten of wands yeah a lot has come up against you going back to matters of the heart yeah all these people have hurt you but you're not damaged goods you know what i'm saying that pain was for a reason you don't have to carry the burden you don't need this baggage you can drop it at any point in given time so you need to understand that okay again I feel like some of this was self-inflicted here so it's just understanding the ways that you have harmed yourself also that you've stabbed yourself in the back that you have dishonored yourself and your body and your vessel here because the 10th house is all about honor right the number 10 speaks to Capricorn's house and reputation and power and the ways that you have given your power away especially when you guys turn into reactionary individuals right and you want to lash out at somebody you know cuss somebody out you're giving your power away by doing so because most of these people don't care okay these people are just very much into instant gratification and getting what they want out of the situation and moving forward so you yelling at them trying to tell them about themselves you know what i'm saying trying to show up and try to damage their property or what have you to get them back in some way to make them jealous it's not going to affect them so you're just wasting your own time you know what i'm saying take your power back here take your power back here all right sagittarius that's what i have for you guys don't let this pain turn you into a, a bitter person a cold and defensive person here just understand that now that you've you've seen it all you've done it all nothing can surprise you at this time so again exercising better judgment now you're wiser now you have the discernment to know who's coming into your life to just play games with you again buy what it is that they say right those impressions that you get 
but that's what's coming through all right so if this reading resonated do give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family subscribe for more and book with me should you need it but if you don't book a personal or private reading with me and i don't hear from you in the comment section below then just do take care of yourself and your soul until you hear from me again all right ciao